Guam has had its share of strong earthquakes. There was the Trembler in 1994, which registered 8.1 on the Richter scale. And just last month, an earthquake registered 6.7. So as an island community, it is important to know what to do when there is an earthquake. This morning at 1016, GovGuam agencies, the private sector, and our island school children participated in the great Guam shakeout. Again, in Heights Elementary fifth grader Devin Okada. It's important to pra practice the drill so um, you can already know what's what's gonna come, and you um, you can stay safe by it. In the event of an earthquake, you only have seconds to protect yourself before the strong shaking knocks you down or drops something on you. Staying safe and being able to react quickly is exactly why events such as the Great Guam Shakeout encourage people to practice often, no matter where a participant is, whether at home, work, or school. Lealoa McDonald. What did you have to do to stay safe? We had to duck, cover, and hold. Okay. And where? what were you guys doing when you dropped covers and hold? Before the sirens came out, what did you guys do and where did you go? We went in the middle of the playground. In seconds, over 400 Aganya Heights Elementary students dropped to the ground, took cover by getting under a sturdy desk, table, and even out to an open space, then held on until the shaking stopped. In the Great Guam Shakeout, drill participants acted as if there was a major earthquake occurring at that very moment and stayed in that position for at least 60 seconds. Fifth grader McKenna Carbolito. It's important to get to an open space so no, like, no debris or the roof can fall on you. As Okada, McDonald, and Carbolito share, practicing what to do in the event of an earthquake will make an actual earthquake less scary because you are prepared. So when it comes to an earthquake, remember these three easy steps. Drop, cover, and hold. And when the earthquake is finished, remember to get to an open, secure spot so that in case of aftershocks, you are still safe. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.